Hi, my name is Mark and I'm with Academy Class. In today's video, I'm going to show you how we can set up a reference image to model from in 3ds Max. First off, I'm going, going to hit Alt-W to maximize our perspective viewport and push front view and drag our grid around here. Firstly, I'm going to ensure that our snap toggle is on. Second, I'm going to go to customize unit setup and go uh, make sure that in our display unit scale is set to centimeters and if I click the system unit setup button ensure that our unit setup is in centimeters. Now um, we are going to make a piece of paper in a sense that it will allow us to drag and drop an image onto it and then we can begin modeling from that reference. Our reference in question will be this door. I am going to create a plane of real world uh, door measurements. And before I do that though, is I'm going to right click on my grid snap to bring up the settings, ensure that grid uh, points are on. In options, ensure that enable access constraints is on. And in home grid, we're going to change it from a grid spacing of 10 to 5 centimeters and now we can begin i'm going to drag up by 100 and uh, 210 centimeters and drag along by 85 centimeters if we look at our parameters of our plane we can tell that we're getting those exact measurements under our length, length and width segments, just for good practice, uh, right click on them, ensure that they're both on one. So, you know, is it, we only have a single polygon here. Like I said, it's supposed to be a piece of paper that we can reference and trace from. We're going to go to our top view now and push W to get our move tool. And we're going to pull this in the Y up by 10 centimeters. We can tell that by the world coordinate system here. You can either type in the uh, value yourself or you, or you can do what I just did and uh, use the move tool. And we'll go back to our front view. Now we can get our reference image onto that surface by getting the image and dragging and dropping onto the plane. And now we have our door reference. Now, just to make sure that it's projecting correctly, and what I mean by that is what I'll show you. First, we'll go to our modifier list and we will go to U and V, and I will hit enter. From, uh, from here, uh, do not follow what I'm doing because I'm just going to show you a situation what can happen, but we will follow the steps any in the steps to fix this anyway. Uh, so this is a stretched textured image and this is not what we want i mean it just uh, it just looks terrible right now right what we had before was great it was seemed to be projecting perfectly but in this situation you might come across this uh, on your day-to-day -day modeling when you slap an image on a reference to be able to fix that with uvw map we can uh, click on fit under alignment and that will project it and as you can see there's this like yellow light orange yellow line box around it and that's the projection saying hey it's projecting right here accurately now since that's done we can create a box ensure that our grid is on by pushing G and now we are going to create our box which will be the basis for our door. And before I forget, actually, let's right, uh, let, to right click to cancel selection as well. Under our plane, we can select our plane on a scene selection here. Uh, we uh, name and color under name and color. We want to call this door underscore ref for reference. And then we can create our box now. And we will create that to the same measurements as our 
plane, but with a thickness of five centimeters. Right click to confirm. And under the modify tab, right click, edit editable poly. Now we're going to need to change this mode from realistic, might be high quality, might be under a different name, to shaded. Realistic will cast shadow if you can see here, it casts a shadow. Make sure I go back to front view and go to shaded. So the reason we've done this is if I click on Alt X now, what would have happened is it would have projected that shadow still through the transparency and would have been very difficult to see the image to trace from. Now that we have our image reference set up, we can begin modeling. I will see you in the next video and have a good day.